Where's the bone marrow? Mm-hmm. You find it? No, I found some fat. Delicious. Good afternoon, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful East Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today I'm here with my father, Thomas Hoffman, at Moksha Indian Brasserie. This Indian restaurant serves Indian food reimagined with a twist. Their executive chef, Chris, comes from a restaurant in New York that had a Michelin star. So his food is incredible. It's from all around India, north, east, west, south, the whole thing. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try their food. Are you ready? I'm ready. Namaskar, happy Diwali. Let's go inside, let's, let's go. eat. Yes. All right, so we're starting off with three appetizers. Wow, this looks incredible. Here we are. Crab sago. <laughs> crab sago, okay, yeah. awesome. Okay. Wow. Never had crab sago before. Scallops moily. Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks incredible. Oh incredible. Look at that. Oh, this is uh, this is certainly different. This is definitely Gati a twist more. on Indian food. What is this one called? Gatimo. This is the Gati chicken, spicy chicken dish which we have in the advertisement. Wow. All right. That looks so incredible. We have scallops, crab, and gatimo. Thank you so much, man. Wow. Thank you. All right. Let's do it. This is <laughs> incredible. The four delicious dishes. We just saw how they made the paneer flambe. They literally just like torched it through the. I don't know. Was that cognac? No, there was some kind of rum. I think okay, they rum. used that rum. It's a sugary rum. They lit it, they put it on top of yeah. the paneer, and voila. I think it's still burning. I think it's still on fire. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is, my God. <laughs> Careful with yeah. that. I think okay. we're going to jump on the, the scallops first, let's right? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's grab one okay. each. Okay, let's see. This is. This looks like curry, no? I don't think it's curry. It's let's not see. curry? Let's see. It looks curry to me. Listo. Let's, let's go. go. It is curry. Wow. Or curry-ish. It's curry-ish. Curry-ish. Mm, the scallop is, not, is perfect. No, it's perfectly, wow. perfectly seared. We're gonna have to fight over the next one. We are? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You should eat it with this, with yeah. the decoration. It, it's actually a very light curry. I like it. It's, uh, it's different, right? And that's what I was saying, it's curry-ish. Mm -hmm. It's not like curry, mm. like very spicy. Oh, I just have this alone. It's very soft. Oh, God. Mm. And what's cool about it is that I've never had scallops at an Indian restaurant. First time eating scallops at an Indian restaurant. It's like a, a mix, you know? So it's like Southern. They were saying some of the stuff is from like Kerala. Some stuff is from Karnataka. So I mean, you know, a little different. Give me the big one, huh? It's fine. Salud. Cheers, Dad. Cheers. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Wow. Yeah, a lot of this. Mmm. <laughs> a little creamy. Mmm. It's just a different twist of Indian food. Wow. Next up, crab masago. Look at this. So it's like a crab salad with peas, corn, and you have these little chips. How do we do this? I guess you use the chips, no? Let's do it. You like you go like this and then get it like that. I think you go like this. It seems to me you eat it with your hands. Yeah. Mm. Nice chunks of crab. <laughs> it's pure, you know. It's pure crab. It doesn't have any. It doesn't say. There's no fillers on this thing. It's just pure, pure crab. Mmm. And it does have a bit of curry also. Yeah, this is so good. As you can see, it's just peas, corn and crab. Wow. Just load it on here. Look at this piece of crab. You have to go to the crab masago. Mm. Incredible strips. Like It's like the crab has been stripped into pieces. But it's very, it's very tasty, but it's not, it's not, it's very tasty, but it's not like rich heavy. I love it. Mm. You know, we're eating a lot of place today, but you can't leave this food. No, no way. Impossible. We're oh. eating it. I mean, most of the time we eat, but we don't eat everything because it's too much. But mm. here, even if it's too much, you have to eat it because mm -hmm. it's a sin. It's really a sin to leave it. It's, it's unbelievable. Wow, mm. what a crab dish. Okay. Mm. We have more next up. We got the paneer, palambe paneer. Wow. Like, let's try it. Mm. 
Mmm. So good. So good. Ooh, it's a little spicy. Ooh. And these, ¿cómo se llaman estos? It's got a little kick to it. It's like a mini, um, mini, mini corn. Mini corn. Mini corn. Mini corn. Sorry. It is spicy, this one. It's spicy. Too spicy, Dad? A bit. A bit you think spicy. so? I'm sure it's perfect. A bit spicy here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's the sauce, the condiment. I don't know what it is, but there's spices in it's here. There's the sauce. There's spices in here. Mm. Oh wow, that's hot. This reminds me of more of an Indo Chinese dish. Oh, <laughs> no, you got it. There's some water. Mm. Quickly, it's really hot. I like it though. Love the presentation. Mm. Great flavors, but then you have that that kick, and it hits you later. Like, it's and like if right you after. grab like one of the, I don't know what, like one of the little hot peppers or something. Yeah, it just kicks it up ten times more. It's like crazy. Mm. I'm gonna leave it to you because I think amazing. I'm gonna burn myself up if I eat this. Too much. Not that bad. I love the paneer though. Mm -hmm. Paneer is amazing. Mm. I've said it before. Basically, if I lived in India, I'd probably be a vegetarian because I love vegetarian dishes. Mm. And right here we have gati mood, which is like a Maharashtrian dish. It's spicy chicken with an egg and then crispy noodles. What you have to do in here is go in and crack it. Wow. Okay, that jumped. Yeah, it the jumped. Jumping it it's a jumping noodle. So you gotta break it up a little bit. You're an expert at this. Ah, try, Dad. You're an expert. You've been doing this a uh, long time. Look at that. Look at You're so familiar this. with Indian food. Wow. That's incredible. Get myself some. Wow. Let's try it. Let's try it. With the eggs, with the noodles. Let's try it with all three. Mm. Mm. Wow, it's like spicy chicken scrambled eggs. Ooh. It's a little spicy, no? A little bit. Not, not that much. bad. Not, not that bad. bad. It reminds me of a mm. kind of a chili. I, I could call it Indian chili. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's like crunchy noodles, and you have like these like chunks, like the squares of chicken. A little spicy, and you have the, the yolk running through it. Wow. Guys, I'm filling up on appetizers. <laughs> but you know, it's interesting because Indian food tends to be addictive. I guess because of the spices you eat, and then you want to eat more. You just want to keep going. I know. And you keep going. It's crazy. You and you're burning, and you want to keep going. Mm. Mm. It's like you like the pain of the. It's hot. You like the pain of the of the heat. Wow. Oh well, man, spicy, delicious. Mm. Incredible India. That didn't move. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Lobster, scallops, crab. <laughs> Where are you from, by the way? Oh, Bombay. Bombay? Uh huh. Nice. Oh, I got like 14 different ones that I use. Uh, these are your main ones, the eight main ones. I got the garam masala, the coriander, and the cumin. And then you got your chili powder. After that, I have my four own blend. Uh, one is the karai masala that we use for the roasting. Then we have biryani masala. You got the meat masala for all your rogan josh and your typical curries. And then I have your puna masala, which is with the fennel. That goes in your kormas and your tikka masalas. Of course, your kagmam. That's my South Indian mixed spice. Uh, one's with tamarind, the other one's with the uh, coriander. Where's the ghost pepper? I know oh, you ghost have pepper it. is here. It's hidden right here. It's hidden there. It's right here in the back. Yeah, don't don't give me that. Don't give me that. That's <laughs> the paste that I make with that. That's like naga food. Like oh yeah. Always I mean, ghost that, pepper. Always. Strangely enough, we get a lot of requests for that. Oh yeah. I just made two orders. If you look right here, the Indian hot. Uh, these these are done with ghost peppers. So we have four entrees over here: two rice and two breads. So basically, this will be a zafran lobster. Then we have a chicken dish that's a Rajasthani hara masalam. Then we have a lamb shank that's called Rane Dampant. And we have a seafood, next seafood that will be the Sorisha Marsh. And two breads that will be one bullet naan, that's a spicy naan. And the next one is rosemary naan, which is like with herbs and all. And two rices, one is the saffron rice and one is the regular like a basmati, Indian basmati rice. Saying that, we have everything on the table.
Let's have the lobster first. Oh my god, the saffron lobster looks phenomenal. So we have lobster on top, obviously yeah. empty. Oh, it's inside. It's okay. inside, yeah. So we have to go yeah. inside here and look at this. Woo. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god, it's hot. Yeah, this is hot. Let me serve you that. Wow. I can't even get it. It's yeah, well, you're serving too so much. much. Just go slower. Yeah. So many. Wow. Chunks of lobster. This, I'm guessing, is like a, you know, corrada dish, sal. Wow, inside the coconut, phenomenal. And then... It's very interesting, no, inside the coconut. I mean, it's, it's a great presentation, I love it. Yeah. Basmati yeah. rice, obviously, with this, I think we should put on the side. Basmati this one or that one? Oh, I mean, no. I think I go with the colorful one. Okay. I'll try it, all right? So I'll just serve you a little bit. Not too much, right? We don't no, want to no, too no, much no, rice. No, no. But you need it with, uh, with the curries, you always yeah. need it. That gravy, wow. Ooh. It's hot, everything's hot. If you were doing street food, you would be grabbing the bread and going like this, I know. Yeah. But you're not here. Here, I'm gonna give you some of this Rajasthani chicken. I'm gonna serve myself a little bit. Lobster first. Let's do it. Let's see. Wow. I don't know that whole thing. Mmm. Super fresh. Mmm. I you love feel you can feel the uh, the tension. I mean the gravy is phenomenal. Love the spices. I'm gonna super light curry. No, it's very very it's, soft. It's perfect. I'm gonna mix some of this. This is basmati rice with some of that delicious curry. Let's mm. see. Mm. And the curry, you can taste the seafood in it. You know? Let's get some more of that. Pour it on top. Oh wow, that's phenomenal. And it's coconut. So he was telling me he doesn't use coconut milk. We use it, he gets the flesh and he breaks it down to make like a, like pure. Yeah, know? yeah. I'm sorry, I have to have a little bit more. No, it's so good. Mm. One more lobster. Mm. Oh, wow. I love the seafood aspect of this restaurant. No? Yeah, because most Indian restaurants, I don't know that they, uh, they have that much seafood, no? Well, they Depending on the region, no? Like they usually focus on north. You know, because like in New York City, it's over 400 Indian restaurants. Really? And 50, only 50 are Southern Indian. But the rest are like focused always in the North. Why do you think that is? Mm. It's mm. more people uh, from Northern India going overseas? There's more people in Northern India. Like Uttar Pradesh, that one state has the same population as America. Wow. Can you imagine that? It's amazing. By the way, the chicken is delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, a little, I feel the ghost pepper. So he was saying you're gonna feel it at the very end. Mm. Another delicious gravy. Man, the gravy's here. You know, the most amazing thing about Indian food, I think, is spices. Mm -hmm. The spice combination is endless. It just goes on and on and on and on. Well, I mean, I, I read somewhere, I was telling them in the back, that I, like I've heard there's over 500 different spices. 500, he has, Probably he has, more. He has 14 more. in the back. Yeah, 500? So there's like everything, every time it gets this different, you know? Mm. I don't remember all this. Wow. Um, the chicken with the rice, you should mix mm -hmm. it. That's what I was saying. So good. Mm. Do you feel the ghost pepper? Comes at the very end. Sneaks yeah. up. Let me wow. tell you, mm. I've, I've eaten many restaurants, Indian restaurants, but the level of quality of food here, the, you know, it's just amazing. Mm. It tops. I'm sure I'll just throw the rice into this. Mm. Oof. The lamb shank and the salmon. And right here we have the rosemary naan. And over here we have the bullet naan. This is actually off menu. It's super spicy naan. Just gotta try it. Not that spicy, but not about the sauce. You need to put in the sauce, I mm -hmm. guess, no? They do have a sauce. Just put yeah. it in there. Let's see. Mm hmm. The sauce. That's pretty. Mm. But the best thing to do with this, that just dip into any sauce, like right here. Like that. Mmm. Oh wow. It's like a puree. Mm -hmm. Like a pea puree. Oh my god! Can't wait to try the salmon. All right. Grab some salmon. Put it over here. Grab where it's clean. Here, let me give you some sauce. So it also comes with some peppers, some broccoli. What else is in there? I don't know, too much. And we should try the white rice with this one. Here, I'll give you some rice. Here. Put it there, perfect. 
Cheers. Coke. Cheers. God. Oh, I love it. Mm. It's like and buttery. the salmon, the, uh, the color of the salmon, you know, looks uh, amazing. How how buttery it is mixed with the, it's like puree. I don't know what it is. It's like a puree of pea, right? It looks like it. Mm -hmm. um, we should ask. Mm. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. Oh, wow. So, let me just go in here and grab this. I see? The Indian way, with your hands. Okay. Let's do the Indian way. Mm. And then over here we have the lamb shank. I'm gonna serve you, Dad. Look at this. This I feel is gonna be my favorite because you know me. I love, you love lamb. lamb. Oh, I love lamb. Lamb is like your favorite. Right now it is that and goat. Wow. And the creamy gravy. Look at this gravy. Mm. Whoa. Tasty, huh? Super tasty. Super fresh. Wow. And this is like a, a thicker, a thicker curry. Mm. No. It has to be eaten like this. And this is a rosemary naan. Mm. Oh, look at that. It's fantastic. It's very good. Mm. Crazy. Look how it falls off. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm. There's nothing on it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. All the meat just fell off. Just soft. It's cooked well. Mm -hmm. I'll be going here and get the fat. Mm. Where's the bone marrow? Mm -hmm. You find it? No, I found some fat. Delicious. Wow. Look at this bone. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna put that aside because I'm gonna be like a dog chewing on it. <laughs> oh my God. Demasiado rico, no? Muy bueno. Todo muy rico. Yeah, because it's spicy, but not to the extreme. No, no. You're gonna enjoy the food instead of just getting burned. Yeah. If you wanna go like super Indian hot, you can ask for that. Ghost peppers all the way. They have that in the back. But we don't have to go crazy. I mean, we don't wanna destroy ourselves. Like after I eat Naga food, Naga lamb food, I never want to see a ghost pepper again. It's too hot. Too hot, no? Yeah. No, but the best thing to do is really go. Ghost pepper? Yeah, it's the hottest pepper. One of the hottest peppers in the world. Yeah, I think it is the hottest. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. India, it's like this. One hand, you go in, you dip, you get whatever. And that's it. All right, guys, so we're ending our meal with two delicious lassies. My father has the mango lassie, and this is a strawberry lassie. I've actually never tried strawberry lassie. We try this all the time. This is a big thing here Great. in South Florida. Mango lassi, and that's actually the national fruit of India. It's wonderful, I always love it. And then here we have the pan ice cream. If you guys don't know what pan is, it's basically the beetle leaf. They mix it with spices, they put some stuff in it, and it gives you a lot of energy. Cardamom, I see cardamom there. Is that cardamom? Yeah, yeah? that's cardamom. All right, so let's try this first. Let's try it. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait. So this gives you energy? We should. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's basically pan. Wow. Pan is hard in India. Mm -hmm. You have it. You might like it, you might not. You know? Ooh. Wow. Yeah, it does give you energy. Like, for me, it's like better than coffee. Because it hits you. Mmm. It's interesting. Mm hmm. It almost looks like pistachio ice cream. That's what I was going to say. But it's not. It's like a pistachio mm. ice cream. Well, you have all these different, like, nuts in there, too. But again, it's flavors and mm. and you know it's like a lot of it's like a lot of uh, a lot of flavors together you know wow very um, very flavorful that's the best description. very delicious all right dad let's finish it off lassi lassi and lassi is not a dog it used to be a love a dog in a movie <laughs> lassi hey, lassi you remember lassi mm -hmm. were you old enough for lassi i was mm. oh wow oh it's different with strawberries Mmm. That was good. Nice, fluffy, not too thick. Not, not very, uh, not very sweet. And not too thick. Sometimes it's too thick, like big chunkies, like an Amazon, mm -hmm. like chunks. This is perfect. Mmm. If you guys don't know what lassi is, I'll explain it. You know, it's like a yogurt, milky yogurt drink, and they use it in India basically to cool down the heat. Mm-hmm. And that's it. But it's great. Mm. It just actually helps you. With, it okay. helps you with the uh, with digestion, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
Well, remember yogurt would always cut the acid. Too. If you have any acid in your stomach, the yogurt will just cut that process. That process? Yeah. In India, they also have something called buttermilk, but I don't like buttermilk. It's too sour. It's like a soury buttermilk. Ugh. But that's the point. Yeah. If you drink, if you drink something acid, with acid in your stomach, it cuts, it cancels out. All right, so that was our epic meal here at Moksha Indian Brasserie. Wow, Indian food reimagined. So good, so incredible. I mean, every single dish was unique, different flavors. I gotta say, my favorite probably was starting with the scallops and then going to the lobster and then the lamb. Those are my three. No, and the crab meat. Yeah, the, the crab, crab meat, meat too. was amazing. I mean, like, perfect. I think everything was amazing, but those yeah. were like my top three. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was coming here alone, I get for sure a scallop to Got start. It. Okay, I love the uh, the crab meat, the appetizer. I mean, I love the the, I mean, the paneer flambe. Yeah, that's that, that's that the was, one. I love that one. I love that one. Cheers, David. Cheers. Well, guys, now you know, if you're ever in the Fort Lauderdale area, here in Florida, South Florida, definitely come out and check out Moksha Indian Brasserie. The food will blow your mind. It is so, so good. And you know what? Let me get my strawberry last Yeah, time. let me have mine. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and this ice cream? Oh, yeah. Pan ice cream. Who would have known? <laughs> to the next one. <laughs> to the next one. Soon. See you guys. Oh. Namaste, namaskar. Nama, nam, namaskar, namaskar. <laughs>